Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. It's time for another Eurovision reaction video. Yeah, today we're going to look at the Australian songs. So Australia decides it's back again. And um, it's been a bit of a long haul waiting for some of the songs to release, mm -hmm. but we have now got them all ahead of this weekend's show. So we're going to, yeah, we've listened to all of them. We're just going to check out the recap clips as well, just to share our thoughts and who we think might win to, and get the tickets to win. So uh, yeah, let's go. So for me, this is, I love this firstly, and I, he's Greek, but I love the, uh, the Spanish Latin verse. Yeah, it's a bit Medusa, I think. I'm wondering how it's gonna come across live. There's a lot of production on the vocals, so. It's like a better version of Sandro's Cypress 2020 for me. This is so, so pretty. And actually I think I love Victoria last year, but I think this is like that, but better. Really melodic, really pretty. It reminds me of Thank God an Atheist a little bit from Finland and this year, really like it. Whereas this one, I am a sucker for Emily Sande, for Jess Malboy, for Alicia Keys, and this sort of vibe, yes. I love it. It's that kind of, I just I'm, want a gospel vibe <laughs> yeah, that's in behind it. Put my hands um, up. The big note in the bridge, the middle eight, fantastic. I think I like this more than you do. <laughs> I like the song, I don't like the drop. I feel like a song could be ruined by not having a proper chorus. I'm looking forward to a dance breakdown though in this bit. That the stage really performance good. would be fire. I'm in the minority for liking his 2017 song amongst <laughs> fans. This isn't it for me. It's very Justin Bieber. It's a bit love yourself. It's a bit one level um, for the whole three minutes. And Jaguar, we had such high hopes because her song in 2020 was so good. It, yeah. I still like this. I don't think I love it. I'm interested to see how she performs it because she's going to elevate it, right? I know, if we get anything like this, which I can imagine we might do from her, it'll be great stage. Uh, and this is so soft and beautiful. I don't think it's competitive, but I really like listening to it and it's going on my playlist for sure. Yeah, I just find it a little bit, it's got a moon there. I do find myself sort of drifting off a little bit. Sorry. This would not, you'd drift off to this, would you? Oh, this reminds me of Enough is Enough. It's, <laughs> it's like Phil on Disco Power. I love this song. She had a belt of a song called Fireman in 2010 ish. Amazing song. Uh, Again, this one doesn't grab me. It, it's quite, quite a background. Even though he's like really belting, I can just, just hear the instrumentation. Yeah, yeah. I, the mix is all wrong. Yeah. So live, it's it might come to life a bit more at the moment. And I feel like this Sheldon Riley song, so excited for it live, is like a mm. better version of him. And I mean, the build in the song, the drama, ah, oh, just it's yeah, gonna kill it. The strings that come in and they sort of build and build and build and build with his vocal. And then this is fun, so they got rejected in 2020. I remember oh. at the end of the show they got shown in that montage. Oh yes! Love this. So fun, it's 80s, but dance yes. rock. <laughs> but better than Bulgaria, so. Oh God, yeah, 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 yeah. Much better. Don't worry about that. <laughs> there we have it then, the entries taking part in this year's Australia Decides at the Gold Coast. Yeah, a mixed selection, some highs and lows in there for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really intrigued because it's such a ballad heavy kind of contest. There's only kind of, I think maybe two or three up tempo. So I think Paulini might be one to watch. Um, but for me, my favourite has to be Sheldon Riley. I mean, I just adore him. I think fantastic, fantastic performer. So mm -hmm. avant-garde. So it just, yeah, I don't want it to be too much. Perhaps there's a risk of that. But I think the song is beautiful. It builds fantastically. Yeah, really I'm expecting like Met Gala oh, real sense with be... the, the power of vocals, but he's got the substance to back it up. It's not just about his looks, it's, it's about voice. his vocal and how he presents himself, which is incredible. Really looking forward to that. And yeah, Paulini might break through in a way, maybe like an Estonia Fire did, mm -hmm. and the fact that it's you know, so something different. that really stands out as an upbeat track. But it'd be a great show, it'd be a, an early start for us, but we're looking forward to enjoying it. That's what we think anyway. Let us know what you think on the comments down below. If you Who do you want to win? Who do you want to see represent Australia? Yeah. And if you like the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe and hit the notification bell because we've still got quite a bit to do this season. Yeah, Take care. See you soon.